It's finally here. It's unboxing day. So this is Apple's new $349 music player. You can go to the Apple store and pick it up today or order it online, and it's really very clever. See, most of us, we've got iPods, and as long as you have an iPod with a dot connector on the bottom, you can use the iPod Hi-Fi. You can do it a couple of different ways. You can set up a playlist or start an album, and then just put the iPod down uh, on the dock and it will play through the, through the speakers, which sound really, really good but it's got a couple of tricks up its sleeves. You can unplug it, and as long as you've got batteries in it, you can use it somewhere like the garage or in the yard, or maybe even out by the pool. Although I should say it's not water resistant, so maybe be careful if you're going to the pool or the beach with it. But you don't have to walk up to the hi-fi to change the volume or to skip a track. See, it comes with the little IR remote, and you can just use the remote from across the room, so you don't have to get up from the couch or stop what you're doing in the kitchen to adjust the music. It's really all very clever. Hang on, I'm getting a, I'm getting a text. I told people I was working on a video. Oh boy. I've made a big mistake here. You see, it's not February 2006. It's February 2018. Apple has a new music player today. It's also $349, but it's not the iPod Hi-Fi. It's the HomePod. All right, so this is the HomePod. I went with white. It just seems like something with pod in the name should be white. You don't have to have a knife here. It's got this easy pull tab. The plastic just comes right away. And we've got our box. And there, there it is. This thing is way, way smaller than I thought it would be. But uh, it's, it's very compact. It's very actually heavy for what it is. We've got another plastic piece up here at the top where the screen is. And we can just lift it here out of the base. I saw in a lot of other, uh, a lot of other unboxings and, and impressions talking about the power cable. The power cable is actually very nice. It's covered in cloth like you may see from a cable for somebody like Anchor. But one problem I have with it is that it's affixed to the HomePod. So if something happens to this cable, if it gets damaged, or if you need a longer one or a shorter one, you can't just swap it out. You see, the one that went in the HomePod Hi Hi-Fi was just a little standard two-prong guy. Uh, that's nowhere to be found here. This thing is integrated right into the base. Uh, so let's uh, let's get it plugged in and get it set up and see how it sounds. So the HomePod setup is really similar to the AirPods. You turn the thing on, and after a few moments, you get a little pop-up on your iPhone. If you have trouble with it like I did, you can manually add it uh, once you're in the Home app, but it's not a big deal. Now, there is something to talk about here when it comes to personal requests. If you enable this feature, Anytime your iPhone is on the same network as the HomePod, anybody can walk by the speaker and ask it something. The HomePod's not smart enough to tell if it's you or your significant other or your kids or that guy you hired to fix your washing machine. Anyone can walk by and add things to a note, add something to a reminders list, or even have your iMessages read back. That's something to think about if you have privacy concerns. Even me, even in the kitchen, I'm not sure that I would turn this on. I don't want anyone in my household to be able to send an iMessage on my behalf. Now out here in my office, that's different, but it's certainly something to think about. Like all Apple products, the HomePod is part hardware, part software. On the hardware front, there's very little to complain about here. Both the white and the space gray units look really nice. It's much smaller than I expected, and it sounds really, really good. But the software story is all about Siri, and if you just rolled your eyes thinking about that, you're not alone. Now the HomePod does all the normal Siri stuff. Hey Siri, what's the weather? It's currently cloudy and 64 degrees in Memphis. Hey Siri, what was the score of the last Memphis Grizzlies game? The Grizzlies narrowly lost to the Jazz last Wednesday. 
If you have the personal request turned on, Siri can do stuff with your personal information. Hey Siri, what's the next thing on my calendar? I can access your calendar here. Sorry well, about that. Well, not everything in your personal information. Hey Siri, send an iMessage to Mike Hurley saying, hello from the HomePod. Your message to Mike Hurley says, hello from the HomePod. Ready to send it? Yes. Done. And there it is in iMessage. I do a lot of cooking and when I'm in the kitchen, I can ask my Amazon Echo to set multiple timers. Let's see how the HomePod does. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes and counting. Hey Siri, set another timer for 17 minutes. The timer is already running at four minutes and 51 seconds. Would you like to replace it? No. Okay. That really blows my mind. Even the iPhone is locked to just one timer. I really hope Apple fixes this in a future update. Recording a bunch of music and audio. I picked a day where my neighbors have a tree trimming service over. You know the guy up there cutting limbs? Those guys on the ground, they're all yelling to each other. It's not, not super helpful. The HomePod can also be used for listening to podcasts. Hey Siri, play the latest episode of the Connected Podcast. No problem. Here's the newest episode of Connected. Connected 179, the tiny head pandemic. Hey Siri, stop. But of course, at the heart of the HomePod is Apple Music. In fact, if you're not an Apple Music subscriber, this product doesn't make much sense for you. Now I know I can hear you in the comments already. Steven, you can airplay to this thing. And that's right, but let's think through that for a second. You've got to pull out your phone, open the app that you want, so Spotify or Overcast or whatever, find the media you want to play, hit play, and then hit the airplay button. That just makes the HomePod really no better than a Bluetooth speaker. And for 350 bucks, there's a lot better ways to go. But Siri understands Apple Music. You can play a playlist, artist, album, an individual song, content from Beats 1, and on and on and on. You can even tell Siri what kind of mood you're in and what kind of music you would like to hear, and it puts it together for you. In my testing, this works really well, much better than the smart assistant stuff that Siri also does. Now, this is doing almost everything my Echo can do. I can even control my lights via HomeKit. I can add things to a shopping list, but it, Siri is just frustrating to use. And a lot of it comes down to the chatty banter that Siri uh, Siri likes to use. I just want my smart assistant to do what I ask. I don't want little cute remarks every time I do it. So to wrap this up, I want to pit the iPod Hi-Fi versus the HomePod head to head. They're very different products. Even though they each cost $349, the iPod Hi-Fi with its iPod dock and its line-in jack are decidedly old school, where the HomePod is the way of the future. Voice assistants, and no, no physical connections to speak of. So let's see how they sound. Hey Siri, play the playlist Creative Commons. Playlist Creative Commons now playing.
Hey Siri, stop. So hopefully the difference between the 12 year old iPod Hi-Fi and the new HomePod comes through in those clips. The Hi-Fi struggles on the low end to keep things clear, where the HomePod sounds good all the way throughout. There's a lot of separation going on. In fact, if you have a song with vocals in it, the voices and the instruments sound separated in a way I've never really heard before from a mono speaker. It's impressive what Apple has done in such a small form factor. Hopefully one day Siri can live up to those speakers. Thanks for checking out the video. If you have questions about the HomePod, leave a comment below. If you're new around here, there's lots of videos to go check out. I've been doing this for a couple of years now. And be sure to get subscribed to see more in the future. Until next time, adios.